welcome to Argentina. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. So, um, first, let, tell me a little bit about your, your life and how did you get interested in robotics? Well, um, I have a, a, a background with many disciplines, um, including uh, art, sculpture, filmmaking, science, engineering, and uh, brought these uh, disciplines together um, in a PhD program that combined neuroscience, uh, art, and philosophy, mechanical design, and software design to develop human-like robots. This is an integrative approach to um, creating synthetic mind and uh, person. So this is, is very interesting because in the traditional approach in classical in an academic university is to focus in a particular subject. Yes. And we produce highly specialized uh, professionals. So this integrative approach is, is, is uh, something new. That's, that's right. Um, but it uh, goes back uh, into uh, ancient history um, where uh, often the disciplines were converged. Um, and um, now modern uh, biology and physics is uh, beginning to take a fresh look at complexity. And um, to manage complexity, you have to deal with many things interacting simultaneously. So bringing disciplines together, numerous disciplines together, allows you to uh, address the mysteries of mind and uh, being of uh, human. Yeah, in, in some sense, we're coming back to the Renaissance. Right? Yes. That to in integrate arts and science. I mean, the, in, in those times, people didn't consider specialists or, or scientists. They considered people interested in culture in general. That's right. So, what, what do you suggest for a, for a teenager that wants to get uh, into robotics? What, what would be the, the proper way to enter into the field? Uh, the proper way to enter in the field of robotics is to be very, very curious um, and realize that robotics has unlimited exciting potential. You can create uh, robots that play soccer, that do medicine, that help with um, science, um, and study. Study very hard, many disciplines. Um, computer science, learn how to program. Study physics and math. Learn how to draw. Learn how to see. Learn how to think about how people interact with each other, how stories are told. The kind of robots that I develop are robots for making relationships with people. And so it um, has many disciplines, including cognitive science, um, it, uh, of course, mechanical engineering, polymer science mm -hmm. for achieving the skins. Um, and every one of these is a joy to yeah. explore. So um, stay curious and you will have that joy. What's the most rewarding experience you have? Uh, the most rewarding experience that I have is uh, when I see um, children interacting with the robots and with the face, uh, their faces smiling and glowing. And they think, you can see on their face, that the future is open with wonder and possibility. That, that uh, uh, makes me uh, very emotional. Yeah, that's, I guess it's the... the the, the, the pressure of understanding, I think, and, and when, when the, the children the, understand something, the, the joy is, is incomparable with any other feeling. Yes. So, um, so what would you think is it would be the, the practical application that we'll see in the future for robotics? Uh, there are many practical applications for robotics. Um, uh, for, um, of course, uh, entertainment, bomb disposal, um, for medicine, uh, you will see um, application of robots um, uh, that we are exploring for treating autism um, and other uh, psychological disorders. Um, robots will be used in the future to um, uh, help uh, improve uh, manufacturing as robots um, and people can work safely together. This is new technology. Um, the the more, more capable robots are to interact with people, mm -hmm. um, uh, then the bigger difference they can play in our lives. They can become assistants, um, but also eventually, if they become smart enough, collaborators. And robotics will help us to understand the, the human mind, isn't it? I mean, so do you think it will be 
a contribution to understanding of uh, human cognition coming from robotics? Yes, robots are currently used uh, for human uh, cognitive science um, and neuroscience. Um, most of the robots that I have built uh, are being used in cognitive science and neuroscience experiments um, to find out how people respond to robots, how people respond to each other, and to simulate cognition in controlling the robots. And um, this is the most exciting uh, area of research in, in robots, because if we can give robots a mind, if we can make them creative and aware and compassionate, understanding of our feelings, um, then the future becomes uh, incredibly uh, bright, full of opportunities uh, for uh, new inventions and new science that the robots participate in. They bring a fresh perspective to civilization. So in, in the last century, Alan Turing suggested a, a, a goal for artificial intelligence. It's a, it's a sort of program that could not be distinguished from a human being in a dialogue. Do you think yes. we are close to that goal? Uh, I think we're very close uh, to achieving the, the Turing test, but more important than, um, uh, than achieving um, the perception of intelligence, the ability to solve problems creatively, new problems, to think in a fresh way, um, is the most important goal for, for robots. Um, and in this sense, being able to do things that a human does is very important, but also to be able to do things that humans can't do. Uh, and this this is uh, this is a uh, frightening and very exciting. There's great opportunities. Uh, we have to think about ethical issues. We have to think about um, about how to make sure that the technology is used well. So, do you think there are reasons to be frightened by robots? Uh, I think that um, we need to be cautious um, if we bring robots um, to human level intelligence um, and uh, give them full autonomy and rights. We need to make sure that they understand our ethics and our values. Um, and uh, it is very early for us to consider this, but if we don't consider it before they become smart, then it's too late. Okay. Well, thanks, David. It's been a pleasure. And we'll have a look at your creations. I would thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>